What's up guys, it's your boy Vince Ryder, and um, yeah, where you at, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm here, I'm not sure if I escaped this park before, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I choose any park basically randomly, but um, it's another small one. And I I don't know, I, uh, I am getting tired of the parks here in Skate Tree, why did I slip? And I'm thinking of you know hoping that i can switch into other skate games out there i just need to figure out how to record i do have uh, a skate game in my psp but i don't know how to record that and i'm kind of old school with my gamings because well i'm poor and i <laughs> i don't have enough money to actually have like a ps5 or anything like that nor did i ever want it i do have my switch and stuff but i just want to focus on like switch games i mean i mean skate games I, but there is this one switch game though i will say that is basically one of the newest kind of like uh, skate games out there. So I'm not sure if I should get that one, but yeah, what's up? Um, last time I recorded is when I basically told you guys that uh, I'm, I'm vaccinated, which yeah, I am. And you know what, guess what? I'm alive, I'm still alive from vaccination. Ooh, baby. But yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I feel healthy. I have a I feel like I have a lot of energy, but I kind of been resting because my legs have been very sore because of how many times I've been pounding my skateboard so many times. Uh pounding, why did I say that? Basically just doing just trying to get back to skating and I don't know, my legs been sore. I just haven't given them any breaks. So other than that, uh yeah, it's what is it, middle of the May? Uh pretty much uh as I'm pretty much skating and I'm rocking shorts with the, you know, Afro colors because right now it's it's the top of this heat. And I believe that May is when the, the whole BML, BLM started thing, you know, the, the riots and whatever. I could be wrong. But um, I believe it's that or June. So in dedication, you know, shorts with the, the Afro sneaks. These are past, you know, and pretty much I haven't really seen past due to how this game is like like decades old. But, you know yeah i'm rocking it <laughs> and i love this park it's so smooth i just like how it looks when it skates look at that um yeah but when it comes down to skating with shorts you know i have to i, I always have to come incorrect when it comes to like smooth skating and a lot of my smooth skating comes down when it comes to like resting so that's what i've been doing i've been resting i've been taking a chill you know a break from anything active um so yeah so far i've just been resting and all that but other than that, let's talk about what's going out there in this day of Skate with Vince, where I basically discuss, and it's like a podcast series, but a skate series of me playing a game of skate and talking to you guys. And usually it's supposed to be like a live stream, but hopefully one day it will be once I, you know, do get that working. And if I ever have like enough subscribers, because I do need enough subs to actually do live streams and stuff like that, because I don't want to be like by myself and all that, you know, I remember there was this one person that did live streams, even like 10 K he had like what, um, like 10, 10 <laughs> K, but only has 10 viewers in his live stream. I'm like, Oh, really? That what, what's up with that? So I know I don't do that kind of like every day, but it's something that I am planning to do and hopefully it will get more numbers in terms of people really coming in. So they, when they see me live stream, like, oh, he live streams. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. And I play one game basically. And it's only, it's, it's basically only anything that is related to skateboarding. I'm always authentic when it comes down to anything I do. You're not going to see me play like a basketball game, you know, NBA 2K, because I just don't play basketball. <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna play MLB because who plays baseball? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of like foreign to me. So that's why I play either a skate game or, you know, maybe a, a parkour game, something cool or something like that. You know, I could play like, you know, a snowboard or, you know, BMX game, something that has like a bit more action here and there. So yeah, um, other than that, the views are doing good. You know, the channel's doing good so far. I always try to keep an eye if anything goes wrong, if YouTube is playing to age restrict, and if I do need to fix some things, hopefully I don't. So yeah, so far the channel is doing good. And yeah, pretty much what is doing good is out there. Well, sort of, because uh, right now, uh, my in here in my area in California, um, in the Bay Area, that there has been this influx and I it's pretty much because when I went outside there is this huge like alerting influx of crazy drivers out there and it's because like ever since the pandemic people have just been you know the, the freeway's been empty and so people have been like going in and out driving and pretty much that has been happening 
for the longest time and you don't know how many times i keep hearing these like you know vrooms, you know every single minute in here especially from what i hear in my room you know pretty much i can hear it very clearly and it's because i have such a good hearing that i can easily hear it you know that sucks uh for years that i know in that i have such good hearing that I can hear what people say when they talk behind my back and also what hear you know, it's just a little something I'm just sharing, but it is, uh, it, it also it comes in such a noise. That's why when it comes down to superpowers, if anyone like ever asked me like, what superpowers do you think you would have? You know, that kind of, you know, question. And it would be like the power of hearing, which I already have. <laughs> and also like maybe my, you know, the power to bite someone's like, because of how sharp my teeth are, you know, but yeah, that's just something that I just want to share. So pretty much here in this series, I talk about random stuff when I'm trying to focus on tricks. That's just how I do it. Um, other than that, shout out to my boy, Stefan. I don't know if he's watching this. He is getting desperate <laughs> of hanging out. I swear, any picture that I put in my gram, and this is my fan, and this is my, um, uh, my, like a couple of, I have a couple of two uh, Instagram accounts. One that is just for my family and you can see my face and of course the one in the description below where you can follow is my is the this youtube channel's account instagram account so and man he every time i put something it can it can be like you know me posting what i'm having for lunch it's like leftovers of make me making a sandwich or whatever and he'll be like fire flames and all that i don't know i i feel like I can definitely sense the hunger that my boy's fun is just like really, really, really wanting to hang out with, you know, with somebody or talk to someone. And I'm like, you know what? That's why I'm here. And it's going to be interesting when he hears this, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stefan. I just have to call you out on that. Okay. But I love him. I love him. Okay. Um, he's straight. That's always going to be a little thing that is going to come. Like, I have to make sure that people know that, that yes. Uh, my only guy friend that I only have uh, is not the one of them that I'm dating. Okay, he's not the one that I'm dating. Okay, I'm bi, but I'm not dating him. Okay, because he's straight, and I wouldn't do that to my boy. But I, no, I'm just playing. Anyways, but yeah, shout out to my boy Stefan. Expect a podcast between me and him where we talk about a couple stuff. Hopefully, next week because um, uh, my final exams uh is due basically this week. This upcoming week, I'm recording this on uh, this this uh, video is gonna be out on Sunday. So yeah, some pretty much uh, this week is gonna be busy. I'm not sure about videos. I'm not sure how am I gonna really get it done because I have finals and final exams in college is no joke. So yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, I'm not sure what will happen, but hopefully I make some content and you're gonna see some stuff with me, and my boy Stefan, and collabing and you know making videos like the good old times before my other channel got terminated. So yeah, uh, expect that. And also another stuff, I have a list here of different other things. Um, one thing that happened uh, <laughs> that I really want to share that is something else uh, completely different is basically about my parents. And I usually, I never that ever actually get my parents involved in anything in terms of YouTube they don't know anything about my channel they don't know anything of what i do out there my channel and also my they probably know my second channel which is my dancing channel but this channel um basically they don't know anything about me in terms of me being like webtoon especially back in the olden times of me doing gaming when i used to do gameplays um yeah they don't know anything about that for for years my parents never knew anything of what i'm doing behind the curtains or basically in my bedroom so um i almost got found out by my parents because they they saw me do a like a presentation thing and pretty much the presentations for some reason the professor is has to have us like put it on like YouTube or whatever. So this one was just like kind of like different because it's basically uh my YouTube and I pretty much have like this two YouTube accounts that I use. My uh dancing channel, my second channel basically and this is you know this one right now you're watching this video on is my main channel. So yeah, I have two different channels and pretty much the one that you're seeing is my this presentation is from my like um the the of the yeah the second channel that and pretty much that's what my parents know about and for some reason they're just like 
uh, my presentation is nothing special. It, it's a presentation, an astronomy presentation. It's about me talking about the sun's diameter of the, you know, all this boring stuff that you guys might be bored of. But to me, it's cool, okay? It's about the sun and how it rotates in the elliptical uh, surrounding the our Earth to the sun, our relationship to the Earth to the sun. And yeah, it's a, it's a bunch of confusing stuff that I probably forgot. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, but I did put that video um, a couple weeks ago, and they were just my parents. Uh, they were like, "Oh my gosh, you are good! Oh my goodness!" And I'm just like, "I, I, are you? <laughs> it's, it's nothing crazy. I'm, I'm just basically doing a presentation." And then I found out that due to how many, how long I've been doing these let's reads, um, but you know that's because I was so confident on camera because. Usually, I never ever record uh, my face on YouTube, but this is the only time I do it. But I've been talking. I, I'm basically doing stuff like this, where I'm talking on YouTube and I'm basically having a conversation, you know. Uh, and I'm pretty much, I guess, a professional of having a conversation on myself. And I did show a bit of my personality in, during this presentation because it, I try to make it unique. I try to give it, you know, some good grades. And I don't even know if my professor even sees it actually i don't know if she even grades it like come on professor like i like but yeah my parents saw it and they were like wow you good you should be a you, you should be a youtuber and stuff like what they didn't know is that i'm a radio youtuber but yeah i'm not <laughs> i would never share them that because well it's just i, I it's it's kind of like a secret identity just like any superhero movie like invincible that um the best superhero movie of all time you have to hide your identity and you know make sacrifices and there's there is going to be times where i do have to share my secret my my in my you know of what i really do on youtube and it's going to be interesting how i'm going to bring it up because i don't know how to really you know tell them or anything because it's it's going to be interesting how i'm really going to bring it up and also how i'm going to tell them on youtube and stuff like that because it is something i really want to do but i'm not sure how to share with my parents or if they should even know because it again like it's this channel itself is something that is so different from what i am in real life i mean they always know me as a skateboarder but they never know me as like this guy that really loves romances and is also lgbt which is another thing i have to share with them but yeah it's it, i don't know it's uh, it's something hard that i'm not ready the only person that really knows right now is my boy stefan and i talked to him about it and pretty much we went left to right and really you know pretty much trying to figure out how to really you know tell them and it's not easy it's like you either tell them if you don't um but other than that yeah i just uh, that's also something i'm just really really thinking about but i don't know how to really put it out there i guess and still something that is still early and that is going to happen in the future probably and it's going to be scary um speaking of scary right now uh, I almost said about my semester. I mean, my semester. I'm, I'm not scared about my, you know, grades and stuff like that or anything. But uh, I mean, what's scarier than that is what's going on in other countries. I feel like whatever is going on in other countries is slowly coming to light as it's just beginning to be worse and worse. I mean, our planet here on Earth is just not doing so well. I mean, things are doing well and things aren't doing well. It's always a mixture, it's always a balance, and it's always like, why are things getting worse as they are? And I always ask that, especially last year in 2020, the god-awful year, that what what is happening out there, you know? That kind of thing. So basically, pray for prayers to Israel. I'm, I'm not going to talk about what's really going on there or happened. I'm just saying prayers to Israel or whatever you may call it. There is this holiday. Uh, there's this holiday that I have no knowledge of. In any of the sense, okay, and I'm gonna sound as American as I am because it, I believe it's what is it, uh, the uh, what week or month of Ramadan? I could be wrong, guys. I'm so sorry, but I know that there's a lot of people from my kind of community, like either LGBT or pretty much even in Twitter, people that I follow that are huge when it comes to Ramadan, and I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, it's the same thing with baseball. I do understand how the games work. Now, I think baseball is more easy for me to understand, but for a, a religion, religion holiday like Ramadan, if I can respectfully call it that, I just don't know. And I'm trying my best not to 
really a fan or anything like that. And of course, that has no, no correlation to the whole Israel thing. It just made me remind me of that. And I think the whole Israel is something about that. I, I could be wrong. I'm so sorry. I could be wrong. I feel like uh, I'm in a dangerous spot when I am talking about Ramadan and also Israel in the same sentence. I'm not really saying that they're, you know, the cause of it. I don't know. I don't know. And there has been people that have been talking about this or trying to attempt to talk about it. But I'm just noticing it and it's becoming such a big deal what's going on. Especially what I saw in like in Israel with the missiles. I'm like, holy, what is happening? So yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to cut it short like that because I don't know what's going on. I really, I mean, I'm... I don't I don't know anything about the whole of other religions and all that, you know, other than Christianity and pretty much, yeah, I just don't know. And pretty much there are going to be people being like, oh, of course you don't know, you, you know, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, I guess uh, I, you know, I just, it's not my place to speak on it. But I just, you, when something is that big, how can you ignore it? Like, it's like, it's sort of like, you know, sort of front of you, like if you see the sky is in a certain color, and other people say it's in another color and other people might be offended that no it's not that color it's not orange do you see this color out there and i'm like i i don't know I, I could, maybe i'm colorblind maybe i'm stupid <laughs> I, i'm just gonna call it that i i probably just don't know the whole ramadan or you know what's going on with the holidays or something like that because well i'm done okay i'm sorry <laughs> But yeah, that's that's pretty much what's happening in the world. And I kind of always have to balance really bringing out what's really happening out there. At the same time, what's also like, <laughs> what, you know, either like the bad or good things, you know, there's stuff that you just can't sugarcoat. I know that a lot of times I do, uh, you know, a lot of my content is kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say sugarcoated, but it's a lot of stuff that makes me happy personally with the stuff that I read and the stuff that I just love, you know, and also my love for Webtoon and also what I love, especially in anime. And that's what I bring to the table from my reads and, you know, but there's times where I do address of what's really going on out there. And I feel like that's important. Uh, but other than that, prayers to Colombia, Israel, India, these countries that I see in the news that are suffering uh, because of something, something that I'm just not gonna say. But other than that, even though I already said it, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, let's go on. Let's let's go into to freaking what is this? Tooncast. Oh yeah, because it's a couple of stuff that I really want to share and I want to announce. I am tripping. Look at my knees. See, this is why I don't wear shorts in this. I mean, yeah, this is why I don't wear shorts in this game because apparently you can see the scrapes. I'm not sure how to turn that off, but you can see the scrapes. And look at my shoes matching my boards color with the forasta. Okay, but other than that, yeah, let's uh let's talk about Tooncast. Let's talk about these different reads and stuff that I really want to discuss. Uh, first off, starting it, starting off with my favorite, my favorite favorite, the one and only Invincible. I just watched five episodes. Damn, that show is tense. That show is tasty. Ooh, but you know, it's also kind of sour. Ooh, and sweet, but sour and spicy, like out of nowhere. Like, oh, geez. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil it, but God, you guys have to watch Invincible. It is so good. It is so good. I watch five. It is not enough. It needs more. There's so many different hidden clues, different unexpected, different shocking moments where I'm just like, what? and especially my reaction in episode one. Oh my God. Expect a review of me um, doing a review on Re Invincible because it definitely does, does you know, deserve a review. And the reason why I'm watching Invincible right now and I'm kind of like a little late on the boat because I've been seeing these different spoilers and Twitter and stuff like that. Yep, all thanks to Twitter. Um, so yeah, I just been on the boat of, you know, watching Invincible and pretty much it's been good so far. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen the rest of the episodes from six to eight. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, honestly, especially episode eight. You know, the finale is going to be something that definitely is going to grab my attention. It's got like grab my heart, like where you think you're going, you know what I mean? But other than that, uh, yeah. Uh, also, Miraculous Ladybug, I just did a review. I posted the video on Saturday, so hopefully, hopefully you guys saw it. And uh, it wasn't that really that top tier of a review, I would say, but I, I, I did, however, actually cover it as much as I can. Doing a review of Miraculous Ladybug is not easy. It is not easy. I salute anyone that 
does it but for me it is freaking hard it is like like how am, am i supposed to like you know attempt to actually really talk about it off the gate you know i really have to have like thousands of notes to really try to make sense of and even though my review from uh of ladybug miraculous probably didn't make sense to some people you know but I just really want to talk about it. I've been really stalling myself to actually talk about, like I, I already lost the opportunity to talk about uh, Ruby. And I can't really do miss that by really talking about like Ladybug Miraculous. I just, I don't want to miss another boat, you know what I mean? So yeah, I've been busy with that. Hopefully I can actually get these reviews done much quicker somehow because Next week, you're going to see a batch of reviews of Miraculous Ladybug. But then again, I really do want to do a review of Invincible. So those are different genres that I have to really come up with. Damn, I was, I was trying to go under there. But yeah, you know, it's it's something that's still in the gates of me really trying. But yeah, I, I was so surprised that I did like episode one and two of season four of Miraculous Ladybug. And, you know, I tried my best. I tried my hardest to really, you know, attempt to actually talk uh, about you know what was going on and analyze and stuff like that but mainly I was just talking about it I was trying to to get into the you know circle of really of the discussions other than that uh especially the many youtubers I look up to talks about miraculous ladybug and has miraculous ladybug content so it makes sense you know especially my boy cartoon apocalypse really talked about miraculous ladybug I I even said in the video hey trust him he's better than me trust anyone because for me i'm probably a noob uh yeah also i, I do want to talk about the kiss bet there was supposed to be me posting the video of the kiss bet and yeah uh, i just want to share that i didn't really uh put it out honestly uh then again i didn't put out a lot of reads that i was planning to put out but um i i did the the kiss bet i feel like it's best to stall it I don't know. Maybe during this record, there could be some uh, requests later of people like, hey, where's the Kiss Bet episode? And I'm just like, yeah, sure, I'll get it. You know, the finale, of course, because the Kiss Bet has their own season two finale. And I had mixed feelings of it. For some reason, other people really liked it. And I liked it. I, I really liked it. You know, uh, it was a good ending. But at the same time, it just feels left out. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it feels left out. That's why I really, I'm, I'm still debating if I should put it out or not. So if you don't see it, th this is the reason why. So yeah, I just wanna share that. It is good, however, there's a song. I'm not sure if I should sh share the song. And that's another reason why I'm still debating. But um, yeah, so many people are just like crazy for this like, you know, finale i'm just like it's not that i mean season one finale of the kiss bet was better but for season two of this read that i did it's it, it's kind of like either it, it can either go both ways i i feel like and it feels like to me honestly it wasn't enough it just wasn't enough i feel like there was something missing but then again it was just my reaction and i just feel like it's safe to do it you know post a video next week so yeah, I, I'm still thinking about it, you know what I mean? But I still got a bunch of reads left off, you know, for requests and I'm just still going, you know? Uh, next up is, yeah, pretty much we move on to SkateCast. That was TuneCast and now off to SkateCast. I have these different like, you know, casts that I do to make my, you know, skate events a little bit more organized so I don't run out of breath to actually talk about it, even though I'm already run out of breath. So I'm gonna do something that I probably never done before is drink some water because I am thirsty. Oh, can you see my hands? Hey, hey, look at that, look at that. It's going faster, it's going faster. Okay. Mm. God, I needed that. I don't wanna die trying to talk to you guys, but you know, my, my my throat was so dry okay got it like felt like arizona in my throat so other than that um yeah uh it seems that it's time for the skate cause oh yeah how many times i said that but yeah i feel rejuvenated because of that water break <laughs> um so i just really want to talk about uh the whole usa skateboarding thing going on and since this is you know skateboarding gameplay and me talking about skateboarding it only matches right hello skate cast uh so i watched the skateboarding 
uh, U USA National Championships uh, by Barracks. They actually posted in their channel. And I did see a couple of competitions here and there. I have to say both the park and the the park and the street uh, finals was was amazing. Like I just I really like what I saw. And there was some jaw dropping moments that happened at these, you know, different park and skate finals for both men and women that are competing for the Olympics. And hopefully the Olympics in Tokyo happens. I'm not sure if it will, but it could happen. And we could see some, a different kind of Olympics that we probably never ever seen before, which is something that is interesting yet scary. So yeah, what I saw was basically the men's street finals. And I saw the, I saw Gosselin, you know, uh, Chris Jocelyn actually just killing it, you know, especially when he, I, for some reason it was bending like his trucks, it was very loose. And yeah, I, I don't know what that's about, but hold on, let me just put this in the right position. So yeah, I, I saw that part and I was like, pretty much his is uh, is round in, in the skate finals. So pretty much, yeah, he, he seems like, I guess when you have looser trucks, it like it has to do with something, but I'm surprised that he hasn't tightened it up. He it could, It looks like he was kicking his trucks to make it looser. So for some reason that helps. And yeah, Grizzly Mike was also there, which made me think like both Chris and Grizzly Mike. So I wonder if Dan Corrigan was there because for some reason, I'm just like a huge fan of Dan Corrigan. Like he's just a realist. There is even this video uh, in C CSS, which I feel like I should, you know, be sub to CCS early because I do have their, you know, I'm scanning their board right now. And it's just really, it has such good pop. I would say the the CSS board compared to my element element board, which I usually skate, has more pop. Uh, it's the one with the big wheels that I skate. So if I ever put a video of me skating and you see big wheels, yeah, that's the CSS board, cruiser slash Oli board, and yeah, it has such good pop. Like you know, just just amazing pop that amazing like a uh, friction as well, and also like like has good board feel with the you know concave. You know, and also they have their own like kind of pants. So I guess uh, there is this place, th there's this water park area in LA that I really want to skate someday. And it was in, like an abandoned water park. And I, you know, and they were pretty much skating this water park and it just looks fun, especially on the slides when you're using it as like, you know, like a vertical ramp or something like that looks sick, you know, especially the different, like the slide uh, with the, with the railings on it. Oh, that looks so sick to skate. And this guy, uh, one of Dan's fr friends did like a, you know, a 50-50 to kickflip. So that was baller. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the back to the men's, you know, national uh, championships, pretty much, I hope Deshaun is in the finals because I, I basically saw both the, the, all of the finals I've seen, I pretty much didn't finish any of them, you know, both street and park. So, and also the park was sick as well. The men's park, uh, Jagger Ethan, dude, this guy was like freaking serious. He was really trying to, especially with that Red Bull helmet, he looks like a real competitor. L looks looks like he's about to jump off of space. I feel like anybody rocking Red Bull, it looks like they're about to, you know, jump off of space. And I do have a couple Red Bull clothings myself, but that's another video. But yeah, Jagger Ethan was really competitive. And you see Kowalski as well. I uh, haven't seen him in a while, and he's just going on, like, in this vertical, especially um, uh, Tristan with that, with, with that nice tail, like, you know, uh, bang to the rail, like, that was crazy, or the pole, I mean, like, he always hits that pole with his tail, I'm like, how do you do that? So there were some amazing tricks that, you know, that just happened at the park, especially the, the women's uh, park at this bowl area, you know, pretty much the difference of the street and the park is that the park is usually about transitions and vertical and also the street is about, you know, doing tech and doing, um, you know, kind of like what I'm doing. This is basically a street course. But once I go here, you see me doing like vertical, which is the, what the park is mostly about, the park finals. And the women park finals was crazy as well because it had like some unknown cast that I have never seen. I saw Bryce, I know Bryce uh, was, she was killing it. But she actually really didn't do well in that first round. Like, I kid you not, first round, 
uh, trip and it was something that I never seen. So it's kind of crazy how the feeling of doing competition skating really uh, kind of, you know, changes your perspective when you try to skate, in, in, in my opinion. I'd be hella nervous. I'm already hella nervous when I'm ever at a new skate park and it's, it does really kind of affects my way of skating. So that, that sucks. Um, and also, uh, especially Jordan, I forget her last name. She did, I, I kid you not, she did a 540 McTwist off the, uh, during her first round in the park finals. And I was like going nuts. I was like, whoa, you know? So that was like, like, for, like come on. Like, I, I wonder if Tony Hawk can actually do a 540 McTwist. I mean, Tony Hawk can do a McTwist, but never a 540. Like, like was vertical, was going like almost like a flip, you know, like a flare. So that was, that was mind blowing. <laughs> and another mind blowing thing is also Mar Marion Duran. So, and Marion Duran was just like, I don't know where Sota is. I believe that n the biggest, the big cats are not in like this whole skate series thing. Like Nija and also Soto, Manny Santiago, you know, the big scares. So I believe these are the ones that are just competing to be in that league. Because, you know, USA already has a lot of six skaters as it is. So they kind of have to, you know, separate it to actually make another qualifier. And yeah, Murray and Duran, I thought she was going to be in the finals team, but apparently not yet. But yeah, I was so sick to see that. Um... Pretty much that's kind of like what I've been seeing so far, uh, especially how I've been taking a break from skating and trying to actually heal up my legs so I can, you know, not be injured, uh, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, that was an amazing like skate series. And also Poe as well was killing it at the women's street. And yeah, just so many skaters, skater after skater that just happens to bring out a lot of tricks what they have especially even if it's short and not perfect i mean of course you know skating looks better when you actually edit when it's edited not in competition but i don't know it's just uh it's just dope to see uh you know contest skating again for a while since you know we don't have like x games we don't have like sls street or you know we do have sls on cautious but we don't have a lot of, a lot of tournaments and things things are reopening back again so and from what we, from what I see it, especially through this, you know, USA skateboarding champs. Um, so yeah, moving on. <laughs> and that's it for you know what I talk about. But yeah, uh, hopefully to see uh, the Sean Jordan, uh, Chris Jocelyn, Jagger Eaton, also Mary Duran, and also Samar Samaria was also killing it as well. But she kind of fell off in like some of the finals, you know. And there was a lot of stuff that happens, but you know, I can only talk, you know, so much about it. Um, but yeah, Hop King as well. I saw this video called uh, from Ellie Frost, where he did like seven halo flips in a row. Like damn, like he did like quad flips. You know, another speaking of talking about crazy tricks, not only about with Jordan doing like a McTwist forty five forty, but also like how th this this guy from the UK, Ellis Frost, did like seven heel flips and just landed, and you know just so so easily. And I'm just like, well, that's insane. Um, Next up, and pretty much I, I now, you know, pretty much see more of what Hopking, you know, the, U, the UK group looks like beasts, you know, they just look like straight beasts. Oh yeah, Pocket Skateboarding, they have this man that is not really skateboarding as well, but uh, Mak, uh, Samosa Makba, I can never get that song out of my head, Samosa Makba, Samosa Makba, and this guy is pretty much big in the culture, especially in Makba, one of the most popular like street skate spots, and it's in Barcelona, Spain. And this guy pretty much made a name for himself in the skating community by selling like samosas in, in that spot. So that was cool, giving him a shout out. And pretty much he has nothing to do with skating at all. But I feel like that was cool. Uh, Louis Mora, uh, back on his ish, pretty much making like edits and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool to see him do an edit in LA in the Hollywood uh, area, uh, especially with his friends. And I gotta say, his boy Andrew, uh, what is it? What is his name? I'm looking at the notes here. Uh, Andrew Arnold, like he is slowly becoming to be my, one of my favorite skaters because of just how like fresh he looks whenever he's like on a board. The way he, and also how high he jumps, you know? There's so many skaters that are, that jump so high that I'm inspired by. So for this one, it's no secret that I feel like he's gonna be in my top list. And I am planning to make a top list of top skaters of 
you know, uh, 2021, uh, probably later on. Uh, and yeah, pretty much, I think that's all I have so far. I mean, I did see Trasher, Seville Walker, and also Dino Cocos, uh, different skate parts with different styles as well. And also, like, I, I don't know, I just pretty much didn't really see much because I actually, I didn't write much, but mostly what I seen was basically, you know, I guess Invincible and also uh, the the Olympic finals, but, and also other stuff that is also related because I also am sub to actually watch like the whole dance community. And I've been watching a lot of breakdance videos as well, but for skating stuff, yeah, it's been here and there. It is refreshing when you haven't skated for four days and you go back on the board. Uh, there's, there's no feeling like it. But other than that, I'll end this here. I need ice cream. I need I need a drink or anything. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. And, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.